Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Mariel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a new plant of mine, which is ta -da! a zebra plant. Right now, she looks like this because I haven't watered her. You ask why? Because I will be repotting. Why? Because this pot doesn't have any drainage holes and there's no nursery pot. So, like I mentioned in the other video, I don't want root rot because we are not friends with root rot. Root rot is not our friends. So, uh, I'm going to be repotting her into one of my pots from potty.com, which I talked about in the last video. Um, so, I'm happy that we're going to be doing that. Today, a little bit about the zebra plant. She is native to Brazil. Um, she has these beautiful white stripes. Um, they're lovely. They really are. And they don't, none of them look identical. They each have their own characteristics, which I think is awesome. This plant uh, blooms um, when given the proper care. Uh, she needs a lot of water and she needs a lot of light in order for that to happen. Here we have two new little leaves coming out, which I'm excited for because anytime I see new growth, I know that something is is going well. She's happy, she's got the right amount of light going, and she's not being overwatered or underwatered. Um, like I said, I haven't watered her. Um, because I will be repotting. Since we're going to be changing her, her soil today, I've already gone ahead and uh, grab, grabbed it and I put it in here. We're going to be mixing some peat moss and some soil. Um, so it's just potting soil and peat moss because it likes to stay moist and the peat moss is going to help keep that, um, retain some of that water. Now we don't want to overwater it. I don't, I don't want it to die. Usually in the fall and the winter, people don't really recommend, um, repotting your, your plants because they go dormant. Uh, but in this case, um, like I said, she doesn't have drainage holes and I have to water it. And if I don't, have anything for her to drain into we're going to create root rot i'm going to be putting her into this one like i said it has drainage holes pretty cool i've already planted one two this is going to be my third one into the pot from potty.com we are mixing peat moss and soil i ran out of perlite so this is just going to have to do until i get some more and i repot in the springtime if well i'm gonna have to because i need perlite um perlite just helps create better drainage for your plants so i've gone ahead and i think that's pretty good this is kind of what it looks like i'm gonna darn it i have to catch it in okay think use your noodle noodle anybody watch that when they're growing up the PB and J Otter. Use your noodle. Do the noodle dance. Anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and dump some of this in. Um, like I was saying earlier, this plant likes uh, to be moist but not soggy. Like I said, you don't want to kill it uh, by overwatering. It's better to underwater than to overwater. Um, so we're going to do a little less than than halfway and I'm going to take her out and let's see, I'm going to try and put some of the dirt that's already on her in here so I can use some of it because it has some of the perlite that I need. It comes with a little name tag here and just says 
Same thing, the zebra plant is a tropical plant. Like I said, it comes from Brazil um, and it can, it blooms. Uh, you want to keep it in bright light, bright indirect light. So uh, keep it near a window uh, that gets bright light, but not like all the sun's not hitting it 24 well i can't hit it 24 hours the sun's not hitting it all day uh directly uh if you have a window where you know it's the sun comes through all day uh consider putting up a curtain or blinds that you can you can adjust here we go we got to be careful with the roots once again you don't want to damage them i'm already you know taking it out of its comfort so you want to be as gentle as possible with the roots. You don't want to give it, um, you don't want to shock it. Like I said, the plant is in its dormant season. So we're already going to be, we're already going to be shocking it a little bit. Just, you know, be gentle. They're lovely roots. My daughter named her Zoe. So it's Zoe the zebra plant. And like last time, I'm making a mess. That's okay. No one's going to die from me making a mess. Okay. So, she has enough space. I'm going to go ahead and put her in there. You know what? Let me add a little bit more. I want it to stick out. You know what? We're probably going to start over. Hold on. Don't mind me, we're probably going to use the whole thing, mix it up a little more. Okay. Okay, once again, we're going to put our... Okay, and same thing, it's not even halfway mixed, or halfway up. I'm just going to put it up, see now it just stands up taller. And I'm going to go ahead and... I have one of these this time. This plant likes high humidity. It thrives better in a humid climate. If you don't have high humidity in your home, uh, there's a couple ways that you can create your own humidity. Uh, one is by, you know, gathering your plants um, in a bunch and um like a bowl of water next to next to your plants like gather a couple plants the plants that use the most humidity and put a bowl of water in between them and that can create some humidity for your plant you can do a little dish and put some pebbles in it put some, fill it up with water and then put your plant on top of it that also helps with humidity or you can invest in a humidifier um those that i mean if you're really invested in in your plants i'd i'd obviously suggest go with a humidifier just because it'll be better in the long run for your plant okay so we gone ahead and repotted this guy didn't use any of the other dirt which i said i was going to do and i didn't this is what it looks like it's repotted and you see how it's kind of tilting what i'm gonna do just to adjust it is i'm gonna pull it the other way and i'm gonna adjust the the soil so it's a little better i have some water um filtered water i guess was the best option with this one since it's the first time i'm watering it i'm just going to use water from from the sink um, and see how that goes. If I see that it's not doing so well, if it, the tips are starting to brown, I will change it over to the filtered water. Um, so here we go. So it's the first time that I'm watering. And I changed its soil, so we'll see how that goes. Misting is also a good way. Um, to help out your plants um what, what you do when you miss is you grab a spray uh spray bottle with some water 
and you just mist it around the plant. You don't want to do it directly, um, but you can, you know, at an angle, mist upward and let the the water fall, fall down on the plant. And what I like to do um, throughout the week is go um, and ch check my plants and see how the soil is. And if I think that it's too compact, I like to grab either a stick or like the back of a, a plastic fork or spoon um, and just move the dirt, move it so it's not so compact. Some people like to water from the bottom instead of watering from the top. And they say that when you do that, the plant only takes what it needs because you'll fill up um, the dish or a bowl. You stick your pot in there and it absorbs only what it needs. Um, so that's pretty cool. I have a, a video of that on my Instagram, which if you follow me, uh, you can check it out there. I have a little post up there uh, on what watering your plant with, with the dish looks like. Uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about today um, before I let you guys go uh, was the humidity. Um, uh, I had said that humidifiers are the best way to go. You don't need a big expensive humidifier. You can, um, but I already tried that um, and it broke down. Well, it wasn't super expensive, but it was like $30. I got it off from eBay. The bigger humidifier was for my, my bigger plant, uh, my Monstera Deliciosa. Uh, but like I said, it broke down and then I didn't have anything and I was just trying to create humidity uh, with the other methods. Um, but the other day I was at Target, I found this guy. It's a portable humidifier, uh, so you can have it in the car or at home for your plants. It was only $5, so I thought that was a steal. This is what it, it looks like. There is a filter and it comes with an extra one but it's only half the size. And which you, it comes with a, a USB cord. Uh, well, one filter and then the USB cords at the bottom. Uh, like I said, it's only $5. I thought it was a steal. Um, considering that the other one didn't work. I didn't really want to invest. And what you do is you fill up a, a bottle of water. It could be a plastic bottle. It could be a mug with water. This is an old wine bottle that I decided to recycle. And what you do is you connect the USB cord and there's a little power button right here. And ta-da! And this is perfect for little plants, like desk plants, or like I said, put them in a little, in a bunch, and put this guy in the middle, and it will do the job the same way the big ones will do, um, just for a smaller space. Uh, and it has the two functions. It has this one that just seems out, and then it has this one that turns on and off every couple seconds, and I love that. Like I said, Target, only five bucks, worth it. Um, next time I go, I'm gonna look out for these because they are awesome and you can have them, you know, throughout the house. I, I don't mind them, they're pretty cool. All right, thank you guys. I, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you, bye.